Yo, how are you guys doing today? Welcome to episode 103 of the Iron Man series. Please enjoy today's episode. Yo, that is dope. Just got 95 farming? Sweet, sweet. So I've been doing some treat runs, not too crazy. Just like, you know, do a cow quad every day and like a papaya or yew tree at like uh, Gnome Stronghold. Just very convenient. So the farming level is pretty nice too, it just helps out at raids because higher the farming level, the more herbs you get from the raids patch, so that's pretty good. Okay, so I just uh, spent like an arduous bit of time cleaning all my herbs. Oh, dude, that shit was quick intensive, you know? My finger's hurting it a little bit. But yeah, cleaned all this and I'm gonna price check it. Wow, 23, actually 23.7 like mil worth of herbs. So I am gonna just turn them on to a finish pot and just start that massive grind to the 90 Orbor. This is probably my favorite part, it's just uh, making all the unfinished pots in one tick. They introduced this guy called Weasley a little while ago, I'm not sure when, but he can uh, crush my bird nest for me for I think a uh, cost, right? Uh, 50 GP each. That's fine then. Really uh, easy then. Crush all 561, there we go. That's a tons of uh, bird's nest right there that I can make for a brew, so really nice. So when I'm doing this herbal gram, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are going to be asking, hey, why don't you uh, use that new uh, Amulet of Chemistry? It gives a 5% chance of producing a 4-dose potion instead of a 3-dose. And each amulet has 5 charges. I would use it if my character wasn't already so endgamed already. There are so many potions that I'm already making now that I will not be able to use at all because there's just too many. So the extra doses from this necklace isn't really going to help me. So I'd rather not spend the time having to uh, prepare to make those necklaces. Holy shit! I thought I collected uh, from the kingdom before, but I guess I didn't. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Oh my god, a lot of good stuff, man. 28 KC. Yo, that's a shit ton of Lizardman fangs. 761. Oh my lord. That's enough for 761 teleports with my uh, Xerx Talisman. That's 30 raids done. And uh, yeah, it's almost like 20 raids since uh, the first item that I've ever gotten. So there's been a lot of updates to the bank on old school and I haven't been able to keep track of them but uh, one of the newer features is the ability to add tags. So you know what tags are, you tag something, you put a word in there and then when you search it. So for example, I tagged everything that I used for raids and I just type in raids and then look, all the stuff that I tagged with raids shows up. So that means I can gear up really quickly because man, raids gearing up was so annoying but yeah, this tag system is really nice. So. I guess you could do that for just about any sort of situation, you know, go farming, different type of boss, whatever, man. So this is such an amazing feature, man. Definitely got to tag up a lot of stuff from now on. Hopefully I don't mess this up because apparently it is ready. So um, I just need to drain this barrel because there's some shit in there that I don't want. So, okay. I think that's drained. Okay, here we go. Now I just need to turn the valve, right? And this should send it. Oh, right there. Nice. It works, guys. So, I actually could have done it yesterday. Wow, man. I thought that's about a few more days, but nope. I'm done. Yo, look at this. Green man's ale matured. Holy shit. It is not a myth, guys. These things exist. Alright, I'm just gonna fill up eight of them. Because, you know, I'm balling right now. Hell yeah, man. That's awesome. Okay, let's continue this master clue. Alright, what's that was this? Six. Okay, we could basically finish this master clue right here. Oh yes! It is the master clue casket. Oh my god. The moment of truth. Oh boy. Dang. Okay, so I did eight master clues. Oh well. Still pretty exciting to do. But yep, I'll take the limber roots, man. Not bad. Oh well. <laughs> I am almost there guys, just got 89 herblur. It is here guys, after so much improvising, here it is, 90 herblur. Oh my god, that is beautiful. Now I can make super combat potions without boosting, and mix strong noxifer potions, which is basically overload uh, at the highest capacity. And let me just tell you, I have a lot of uh, unfinished pots and stuff, but 
It's okay. I'll take care of these at some point if I ever feel like uh, doing or blow. But that's it. Such a crazy grind is completed. So there's still a few more skilling stuff that I would like to get done. But uh, right now, uh, that's enough skilling for a bit, you know. It's time to go back into the Zami grind. But I cannot wait to go back to raids and uh, start using some overload pluses, man. Don't spec me, though. Yes! <gasps> yes! <gasps> oh, how I've been waiting for this. Oh, that is beautiful. Sorry for the unnecessary moaning, man. Oh, my lord. 221 kills, man, later. I got myself a Staff of the Dead. One of the most rare items out of all Zami. So, I just did like two kills of Sammy uh, and I used the Staff of the Dead to you know try to heal off the minions but the problem is the Staff of the Dead although it does hit higher and whatnot I can't auto cast Ancient Magic so that means I can't change uh, my prayers and stuff to protect myself from the minions attacks unfortunately I won't be using the Staff of the Dead here but uh, maybe stuff at like DK's it would definitely be really good at DK's I'll definitely make some good use out of this you know what, let's just uh, make this Staff of the Dead a bit more fancy, shall we? Got a, quite a bit of magic things, so... Alright, let's make the Toxic uh, Staff of the Dead. Yeah, that looks nice. Mm-mm. <laughs> Where the fuck is the agility course? A Dragon Dagger! Plus plus. Wow. Okay, that's my second ever DDS so far in 238 kills, so yeah, pretty rare. Oops, I thought I was recording, but uh, yep, just wrapped up my second uh, Greater Demon task at 240kc, so I am 2 out of 4 items complete now. So I reckon at this rate, I'm feeling like probably another, you know, 240 kills, maybe gets like 500kc, which is like average for all the drops. Yeah, I'm feeling like another 2 more tasks or so, and I, I might have a good shot at getting all the items, so... Oh my god, dude. I just got fucking triple stack the dream. Look at this shit. So I didn't show the results of all of the uh, herbler training the past week. So I'll show it to you guys now. Look at uh, basically my combat potions. Look, 4k super attacks. Um, about a thousand brews. Still good amount. Um, we got over a k super defense. 2,000 freaking ranging potions. I'll probably convert most of these super attacks and stuff into uh, super combats when I start growing some more torsos and getting some more from like raids or something. So I decided that today I'm gonna start grinding for full void, specifically full void range and melee. So the main purpose of getting void is for raids, okay? It's really good for raids. I've done a void setup on my main account and it definitely has quite a bit of edge over the regular equipment. So at this point in time, all the people that I usually raid with, they're really good at raids at this point that we can not really have to worry about eating too much. Uh, so we can just go ahead and go on full DPS mode. And the other reason is so I can camp wyverns a bit faster. So with my range level void at that point in time, it's definitely better than just normal dehyde at wyverns. So I might as well get it since I'm going to be doing both of those things uh, quite often. It'll definitely uh, help me out in the long run. I don't have a single piece of void so it's gonna take a bit of time but yeah we should be able to blow through these points quite fast. Okay that's gonna be my last pest control game for a bit. Uh, I should be halfway done with points in terms of getting a fold, void melee, and range. So let's just check the points here. 547 so basically 503 more points to go. So hopefully by tomorrow I'll get the remaining 500 points does take quite a bit of time to uh, grind out the void, but Pest Control Veteran uh, mode is really fast points for sure. It's like a 1 to 2 minutes a game, honestly, for 4 points, so not too bad. I guess I'll go ahead and get myself the uh, Fortnite top and the uh, Fortnite robes, mine as well. And here's the last one, Fortnite robes. That's it. So, just need to get the gloves and the two helmets, and uh, we are set to use full void for raids and wyverns. So guys, on this episode, we definitely uh, wrapped up some nice goals, especially that 90 herb blood, man. I've been using it for raids and it's so nice. And on the other hand, on the uh, Galwa's progress, we got another unique item ever since coming back 
in the a few months uh, hiatus so we got that staff of the dead so that's really nice so hopefully on the next episode i'll get some more zami tasks to you know get the two remaining uniques the steam and the hilt that's gonna be nice to have my second god sword so i have another massive skilling grind uh in the works for the next episode so that's gonna be quite a bit of variety so hopefully next episode will be a pretty good episode as well so if you are new to the series you want to stay up to date feel free to subscribe to the channel that way you know exactly when the next video comes out and also if you enjoyed today's episode feel free to give it a like as well i would highly appreciate that other than that i will see you guys soon with another video in a few days take care